Hey there, Nick Chitakis here. In this video, we're going to go over using sed to delete lines in a file that match a pattern, as well as the opposite of the pattern, basically an inverted match. So check it out. I've got a couple of little files here that we're going to take a look at. And if we run this little script here, it is going to show us the output. And now let's look at all three things at once so it makes a little bit more sense. But TLDR, you know, this is basically the focus of this video here. So I've got this little uh, demo file script here, and it's, you know, just showing some text here. But let's say that we have this file here on the right, and we want to delete all the lines that don't start with five spaces. So we have this little script here, and this is the output here, and we can see that this first line was removed because of this one set command here, which is going to delete all the lines in this file that don't match five spaces here. And the don't aspect of the opposite component of it is this exclamation point here. And you know, this is the demo file that we're just looking at here. I also sorted it so it's a little bit easier to read here. But you know, let's say that we remove the exclamation point and rerun this demo script. It is just going to return this first line here because in this case, you know, we're saying let's delete all the lines that start with five spaces, in which case all of these lines are going to be deleted. This one will be left. But the exclamation point, very handy for doing an inverted match. So that's really basically it for this video. But I do want to go over a real world use case of, you know, why I decided to create this video here because it came up very recently in some client work. So I did write out this blog post here before the video and uh, we're going to go over some of it here. You know, we kind of went over basically the uh, thumbnail of this video, but yeah, let's uh, go right into the real world example here. You know, I'll leave a link to this one in the description when it's available. Right now it's on localhost here because it's not out, but when this video is out, yep, it'll be there. Uh, but yeah, let's go over this one. So you know, recently I had to, or I wanted to write off a one-off script here to help a client identify calls of all the spots in their code base where they were referencing code igniter config items. Now, I'm not a PHP developer, but code igniter is a PHP web framework. And uh, there's a number of different ways that you can basically read config items. And, you know, this is a pretty popular or standard one like this, but, you know, in practice, I found that there were over a dozen different code styles here. So, you know, in this post here, I went on to mention, you know, it's a 10 year old code base with thousands of different config item references here. And yeah, they had over a dozen different call styles. So what I ended up doing there was I wrote a script that used grep to scan their code base using a combination of greedy and more specific regular expression patterns. We're gonna see these in a second here. You know, most config items are referenced with this pattern here. This is the one that we just looked at in their docs. You know, basically this config item and then, you know, either one or more arguments there as a string. But uh, in practice, there were a, a dozen of different call styles there. So what I ended up doing was I started with a very greedy match using config here to identify a bunch of them, including false positives there. And then as I started to identify and see what they looked like, I started tighten, tightening things up to more specific patterns. And there, there were quite a bit more than four, but whatever, that's not important for the sake of this video. But you know, here's a couple of different examples. You can see this one says item, this one says load, this has uppercase CI, that one's lowercase. You know, this one is just like this. And then we have uh, not even this here, but it's just dollar sign CI. You know, know, it was a really large code base that a number of people have worked on for over a decade. So yeah, you know, there were a whole bunch of different patterns there. But uh, long story short, what I ended up doing there was uh, I wrote both the greedy and specific matches to separate files on disk using a format that looks very similar to what we just saw a second ago with that TLDR example. So basically matching and then some pattern there. And this is just a standard grep result where it shows you the file, the line, as well as the actual line that matched the pattern there. Now, realistically in my script, you know, I tricked it out a little bit more and it included things like the count of each pattern here because I wanted to see like, you know, how many times did we use this one or this one? But that was more just uh, wanting to be, I don't know, uh, curious about the history of the project there. But then, then I used uh, a combination of said sort and diff to compare both files and show the result. You know, this let me very quickly see the differences between the greedy and specific matches to get um, all the non-false positives there. And uh, that's what this script looked like over here. So basically, you know, again, we were just using this before in that TLDR example, but I was using said here to look at file A and then I sorted it. And then I wrote that out to like whatever the file, I decided to name it like dot processed, right? It's been sorted, lines have been removed, you know, it's parsed or whatever you wanna define that one as. Then I did the same thing here for file B, because in this case, you know, we had that greedy file and specific file that have two different results there. Then I just used diff there to diff both files, and then I removed the process files at the end. But what was really nice about this one is you know, it produced a very easy to read diff there. And uh, without writing these types of scripts, it would have been like ridiculously tedious, right? To go over uh, a million lines of code with thousands of different results. Instead, I was able to compare the greedy versus specific file here. And, you know, we can see maybe there were like a, well, I didn't put the output here, but I, you know, there were less than like 30 or 40 results to go through. And, you know, each time I tightened up to get more specific ones, there was less of a difference until eventually I removed all the false positives here. But uh, yeah, the next step in that case was like programmatically converting all of those 
CodeIgniter config references into Laravel since this client was switching to Laravel one component at a time here, but that goes way beyond the scope of this post. However, that is why I wanted to remove all false positives here and ensure I call all of the legit config references. And now, uh, yeah, now we're getting to some meta stuff, right? So that's gonna do it for this video. Let us know in the comments below, when was the last time that you said to delete some lines in a file based on some pattern or the opposite of pattern? It's always fun to see those real world use cases. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.